Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Walt and uh, we just made a new editing group called HQ Arts. Uh, hope you guys check them out and subscribe to us, and we're gonna have some fun. Uh, I'm gonna be giving away this background for all you lovers out there and all the members if you guys want it. But, let's get to the tutorial, and that is how we're gonna use Twix during this Adobe After Effects. Let's see how we're gonna use Adobe After Effects. Nah, man, let's see how we're gonna use Twix though. Okay, so let's maximize that. Let's import a clip. I'm gonna port my ABA clip. Uh, okay, it needs Twix. Let me get one of these. Alright guys, before you guys do anything, get a rendering software. Let's open up Sony Vegas, alright? So I'll mess this up. Uh, you guys, I bet you you guys would keyframe stuff. Whenever you guys go in there, you just edit it clip by clip. But nah, man, look, this is what we're gonna do, alright? Uh, let's find it first. Uh, let's get a, the, the main footage, alright? Some uh, well, obviously our properties. So we sample because it takes away the blurry desert. It makes it a little more smoother. And then this uh, and then uncheck maintain aspect ratio. So pretty much whenever I kill this guy. So there's a lot of where, uh, there's a lot of places where you can twix. Whenever they scope in, you can twix right there. So pretty much just cut it right there, and then. Cut it right there. That's the bit I'm gonna be twixting. And then just highlight this, go to file, render as, choose your rendering properties so you can use mine that I posted up on my channel. It didn't know I wanted it up. Okay, I'm just gonna render it as an MP4. Some people use a Logartic codec to do it in AVI, they do AVI with it. I don't really think it's that good, and you're not gonna get a smoother. It's you're not gonna get as smooth as me. So just open up your file and uh, After Effects. Do that. You just go to File, Open. No, wait, you go to go to File, Import File, or you just double click on the blank space there and then bring up your file browser. So pretty much, let's drag this into a new composition. You hold on this. You hold on your um, your video, then you go to this little look um, uh, movie thingy, and then just let go. And then first we're gonna go to we're gonna right click, go to frame, blend, uh, uh, blending, go to pixel motion, and we are gonna do some stuff with this, and we're gonna go where. I would click with my left mouse. It, on yours, it'd probably be like this or this. So just click to it until it gets to those dotted lines, and then click up here. And then time. Then click on your clip. Okay, here's a good tip. If you guys click on here and you can't right click, it's probably because your clip's not selected. Or like, yeah. Okay, so you go to time, time stretch. We'll put mine to about five hundred percent because that will give me two seconds depends on really you how long you want it how long it, it depends on edit too yeah so just click on K okay. and now we're just gonna make a new composition with the original footage that we got from Sony Vegas the one that you rendered out not the comp but not the comps all right so pretty much you select this one, you go to composition settings or control K. Can't see, can't see. Hold up guys, ah, oh, can't see. All right, so just go to control K, it's not working, wow. Oh, you gotta click on the clip. Oh, see, guys, I am kind of stupid. I mean, come on, it's 7:45 in the morning. I haven't went to sleep yet. 
And then you go to your other one. This is the this is comp two. This is comp one. Go to that one. And then just copy and paste your time. And if your frames are 60, put it to 60. The blah 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 right there. You guys are good to go. Okay. So now let's go to effect stylized. All right. Are you version plugins? Yeah. Twixter 4.5. Don't mess with Pro. Put my sensitivity. Leave it as it is. Don't go overboard. Or 50. Or 30. Or 62. On this, I'll probably put 62. So pretty much just smart blend. Uh, zoom out. Zoom out of this thingy. And then if your clip cannot drag out, pretty much means that you failed this game and you need to get life. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. I forgot what to do. Oh, yeah. Go back to your composition settings. I mean, go back to your project. You just click on this probably be on effect go click on this and you'll be in project click on your composition 2 not the video okay composition 2 and then drag it into a non new composition and then you have to go do your um, time for it again I think composition settings nope it's already set you're good to go and now you see this time you, you know how you're trying to move this you can't move it right it does, it fills it up for you, and it's already black. Uh, you'd be like, oh, what the heck, it's not working. No. It's because, let me delete this part first. It's because you have to go and put Twixter. And you have to put your settings, I'll put Smart Blend. And then just put this around a good speed of about 20. 20 or less is the best, but... 3 is probably the best if you want to really slow, slow, slow Twixter. If you know what I mean. And then I'll put, a, I'll put the ending result and let you guys see it. This is how you create Twixter. A very slow effect that makes really, uh, a really good wobbly effect that makes really good sync uh point thingies make really good cinematics this makes really good anything all right and before i go let's let's add this to render queue you guys want to know what i do before i do anything i'll go to adjustment layer how to put an adjustment layer you go to layer new adjustment layer or you could just click on the clip first and hold Control alt y it makes a new one for you you click on your adjustment layer always click on layer or else you're gonna be like what the hell is not working no, it's actually working guys don't worry I don't know but it, it might look good it might look bad but let's go to Gaussian blur and let's just uh, put a try uh, go to your rectangle tool it's gonna be rectangle right go to your ellipse tool double click it it makes a really good circle a really round circle subtract that go here subtract put your feathering up to like around 800 to 500 and expand it out or expand it back in if you want it more blurred see around the sides is blurry yep. should be at least don't want to overdo it though and then you guys want to go if, and if you guys want to know how to do my colors just go look at the other tuts and then just hold shift and select the two layers go to composition go to add the render queue go to lossless go to quick time movie okay um, make sure this has none and make sure these are checked and make sure this is your frame rate that you um recorded that and put it to best and go if it's on animation or anything else go to h.264 click ok it's going to have this weird error just let go just push ok don't worry about it set all this to this and this and this and if you have audio just click on that and you're good to go so just click ok save it to wherever save it to my desktop in the best settings, uh, 
hopefully it'll be on best and full and read only don't don't check any of these except this one and you can you don't if it's on this click this so it uses that current frame rate and just click render and that's pretty much what you gotta do to make this really cool twixter effect Yep, so that's 